What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at how we can back up our user data using a Cronus True Image 2016. This is their latest release and uh, I've been using a Cronus for quite some time now and uh, I like it a lot. Now this one is uh, how to log into the Acronis cloud if you wish to back up to the cloud you can also do that uh, but we're just going to be backing up user data here not the actual entire PC or partitions or any of that stuff but I can make more videos on that if you want to see more Acronis stuff just leave the comment section below some uh, yeses and noes or I want to see more stuff and I'll make more videos here so let's take a look at how we can do this we're going to be backing up to an external drive here but you can back up to a partition or network drive map drive um, NAS drive FTP anything you like OneDrive you can back up all to those locations so we've got the uh, backup highlighted up the top here and now we're going to click on entire PC and uh, we've now got an uh, option here to select files and folders uh, disks and partitions or um, entire PC we're just going to do the files and folders here now once we've got this uh, selected it gives us the option of selecting what uh, folders we want to back up uh, and I'm going to be just se uh, selecting the usual suspects here videos pictures music downloads documents and desktop now any changes made to these areas you can set up a schedule which will actually uh, back up in increments or differential backups or whatever you want to do set this up so it automatically backs up any uh, new data that you've created in these folders so let's take a look at the next step so now you can see here we've got one gigabyte of uh, file data to be backed up we can now select the destination now if you want to log into your Acronis cloud you can do and back up to there or you can back up to an external drive which it's selected here uh, or you can use browse and uh, browse will let you select other options i.e. NAS drive, FTP, OneDrive, home group, uh, map network drives, anything like that you can back up to. Now once you've selected what you want to back up to we're just going to hit uh, the area where we want to go which is um, the E drive this is an external drive one of those little my passports now you can create a new folder here called backup if you wish in there I'm gonna be backing mine up to Acronis backup so once we got our Acronis backup folder selected on the E drive which is our external drive we can see now it's all been selected okay you've got the option here to encrypt that backup if you wish you've also got some options down here which you can click on so if you click on options you can set up a, a schedule here that will allow you to back up on a daily basis weekly basis monthly basis upon event um, as you can see here start user log on log off system startup so you can do it at system startup or system shutdown or restart which is depending on how you want to do it once a day so if you only shut your PC down once a day you can set it up as as is you've also got some other options here advanced options uh, here or advanced settings it's the same thing but you can set this up uh, depending on what you select here will change the options here so running the background as you can see depending on what you want to set up will allow you to set up uh, certain things here uh, so this is all optional for you and you can set it up how you wish now the backup scheme uh, will allow you to change whatever you want to backup as like incremental differential custom and so on and if you don't know what these and what these are then you can click on which scheme to choose this will open up and give you all the information to what they mean and what the options are and what they do and you can go right through you can see here incremental select to create a full version after every five incremental versions this is the default scheme differential will select and create only differential backups after initial full backup and so on you can go through and read this 
yourself but that's a real nice touch I think and uh, you can set this up to how you wish and you can see here create a full version backup after every six incremental versions again you can uh, click on notifications and set this up notification by email exclusions again we're only doing folders here but you can see it's going to exclude all this sort of stuff that's been listed here you can add more if you wish if you've got other areas that you want to exclude and advanced again backup protection and so on validation is a very good um, area now this is something that a lot of people uh, forget to do but I would definitely validate all backups just to make sure that they are in good working order when you back them up so when you get to use them again you know that you've got a good solid backup there so you can put the validate backup when it is created that is a very uh, important thing to do once a month you can do backup uh, validate backup regularly once a month I'd always advise you to uh, validate your backups it's so important it really is uh, but we're going to set this up um, just like so and you can set this up uh, date wise if you wish but I'm just going to leave this as is here for now uh, backup and reserve copy again you've got loads of areas here uh, that you can select and mess around with but I'm just going to leave this as is and click OK and now we can back up now you can see this little drop down here you can see in one hour in two hours four hours and six hours or later on but if you do it now it will start and it will start that backup process as you can see here now you can leave this going in the background it will start to work away and you can carry on with your work but once you've got this initial backup done all the rest will be just backed up as you uh, create new content it will just copy that straight over it won't copy the whole thing over if you set it up how you want to do it and you can also shut the computer down after completion if you wish so that's nearly now complete so as you can see that's all now been completed you can also recover these files from this location here you can hit recover files if you want to pull some files out and you can see here you've got the tick inside downloads maybe that's the only one that you want to uh, recover you can go next and then you can recover those files by clicking on recover now very simple and you've also got the recovery options as well okay which will uh, be more useful to you here where you can click on validate backup before recovery and so on and so on there's loads of other options here that you can go through so if I quickly just show you the actual drive itself and there's the actual my folders for all backed up into there so that's basically how you can use a Cronus True Image 2016 to back up all your data on your computer so I hope this one helps you out my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit that like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos also if you've got any problems with your computers or anything like that or any video requests you can head over to my forums the information is on the screen right now if you haven't joined my facebook fan page you can always head over there and join up over there anyway so thanks again for watching if you enjoy these types of videos or you've got any video requests as i said leave them in the comment section or on my forum and i'll do my best to make those videos for you thanks again for watching bye for now